Foreign Affairs Secretary Perfecto Yasai Jr. on Wednesday refuses to categorically answer during his confirmation hearing a lawmaker's question on whether he was once an American citizen. Occidental Mindoro Representative Josephine Ramirez Sato asks Yasai if he was ever an American citizen. I wish I could answer that question with a yes or no, but as directly as I could in answering the question, I have always admitted that I was granted U.S. citizenship. That is my answer. I was granted U.S. citizenship in November 26, 1986. But it is my position that that grant of U.S. citizenship at that time was void of an issue on the basis of the explanation I have stated in my affidavits. Chairman, yes. with all due respect, I cannot understand why the Honorable Secretary cannot answer that simple question with a yes or no. Yes, I claims he was never a U.S. citizen because even if the U.S. granted him American citizenship in 1986, he executed an affidavit in 1993 saying this was null and void. Yasai says that he was disqualified from U.S. citizenship because he had a preconceived intent of abandoning his U.S. residency when he became American. Immigration lawyers interviewed by Rappler said that a person cannot unilaterally declare through an affidavit that once U.S. citizenship is nullified as Yasai did. He said that that U.S. citizenship granted to him was void of insurance. But the question now, Mr. Chairman, is who declared your um, citizenship as void of initial? Was it your intention? Your mere intention would void the grant of American citizenship? I mean, you are a lawyer. Some of us here are lawyers. Please respect us. We know the law. The CA is set to decide Yasai's fate Wednesday afternoon. The Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines slams the House of Representatives for approving the death penalty bill on third and final reading. CBCP President Archbishop Sok Villega says, quote, We, your bishops, are overcome with grief, but we are not defeated, nor shall we be silenced. 217 lawmakers voted in favor of the death penalty, 54 voted against it, and one abstained. The bill seeks to punish perpetrators of drug-related crimes. The Catholic Church is one of the strongest voices against the death penalty, which the Duterte administration pushes as part of its bloody war on drugs. Boxing promoter Bob Arum says Amir Khan won't be Senator Manny Pacquiao's next opponent. This after investors failed to come up with $38 million to stage the fight in the United Arab Emirates. Arum says, quote, if something is too good to be true, it's too good to be true. The Khan fight came into the picture after Arum had already negotiated a deal for Pacquiao to fight unbeaten Australian Jeff Horn on April 23. But Pacquiao said he had never heard of Horn and held a Twitter poll asking fans who they wanted to see the Filipino senator fight next. 48% of respondents picked Khan, while just 7% picked Horn. Arum says Pacquiao's next fight could happen either in June or July. The Philippine Senate is in recess from June 3 to July 23.